So are your wrists, your forearms, your fingers, or even the palms of your hand giving you some grief because of soreness? Well, the point of this video here today is to help address those issues and show you some suggestions on how you can stretch these different places out in a way that can give you some relief, perhaps. So before you try any of these stretches in this video here today, please consult your doctor to make sure these are not going to hurt you in any way, shape, or form. I don't think that they will, but once again, I'm not a doctor. I know nothing about your personal situation. So please make sure you don't do anything that might hurt you. Listen to your body, consult your doctor, and let's begin with some stretches. So I learned this stretch I'm about to show you when I was a student of the martial art Aikido. Aikido is a pretty interesting martial art. It's regarded as the gentleman's martial art. They call it the gentleman's martial art because there's no striking when you perform Aikido for self-defense. It's all reactionary. It's how you react to being striked and how you can help neutralize strikes with the use of joint locks, evasion techniques, redirecting energy flow, and so on and so forth. But I digress. The point of this video is to show you how to stretch out your forearms, your wrists, and your palms and your fingers. So the first stretch is as follows. You wanna take one hand and point it towards your face like this. So your palms facing your face and you wanna grab and wrap your fingers around your thumb like this, just like that. Now when you grab, you wanna make sure you grab the meat of the thumb nice and tight and stick your thumb between your pinky and your ring finger joint right here or somewhere around that area. And the idea here is to twist this way. You want to twist so your thumb is being twisted away from your body and twist your pinky towards your body. I'll try to show you from the side. You take your palm, face towards you, wrap around the back of your hand, and put your thumb between the pinky and the ring finger joint, just like that, and you twist. You twist the thumb away from you, twist your pinky towards you, and that's one way you twist. And the other way you twist, once you get to the end and you start feeling a stretch, is to twist down and inside like this. So the overall stretch is like this and you can bounce your hand up and down to get a deeper stretch on your wrist as well as your forearms. And they showed me this stretch in Aikido class. We did this to limber up before every single session to make sure that we wouldn't pull anything or we didn't injure ourselves. And there's also some self-defense value to it as well, which I will not get into in this video, but you can probably imagine that uh, knowledge of this particular stretch and how it works could be used to your advantage in a martial arts situation. By the way, I'm not encouraging anyone to take martial arts or fight. Use your words to end conflict, kids. So the next stretch I wanna show you is the same sort of stretch, but in the opposite direction. Instead of having your palm face you and twist away and down like this, we're gonna flip the hand all the way around so it can't move any further. Then you're gonna take your thumb and grab the inside of the palm and wrap it around the pinky and take your fingers and push it behind your thumb and twist this way. And as you twist this way, you get a nice good stretch all along your arm, all the way up like that. And try to relax your shoulders. I'm really bad about relaxing my shoulders when I'm doing these stretches, but it really helps to get a deeper stretch if you just relax those shoulders and you focus entirely on the forearms and the wrist. And once you twist all the way this way, you can push your fingers up in the air and back towards themselves and get a much deeper stretch in the forearm. I like slow calculated stretches with a little bit of dynamic movement. I think I get a better quality stretch when I'm doing it. And once again, I would consult your doctor before doing any of the stretches in this video. These are just stretches that seem to help me out. And I hope they help someone else out there who is doing their contact juggling practice and needs a little relief from using those muscles that we typically don't use. Another stretch, one of my favorites, is very easy to do and very easy to articulate. All you do is put your palms together just like this and make a little prayer just like that and then make sure you put enough force between the base of the palms and push down, and then lower your palms down so you get more of a stretch on the underside of your forearms on both hands, and you get a little bit of a stretch within the palms just like this. So you can make like a slight V or a W with your arms and with your fingers going up in the middle just like that. And then you'll notice if you release the bottom of your palms from touching each other, you'll put more of an emphasis on the fingers being stretched out and all of the tendons that connect all of your phalanges together. I like to float between them. I like to move it around a little bit and explore that range of motion. You know, after all, we're all stuck inside of these human body suits. We should probably take good care of them because we're only here for a short period of time. We might be here for a longer period of time than we expect, so we might as well take good care of them while we're in them. I mean, George Burns said that if I knew I was going to be this old, I would have taken better care of myself. He lived to be over 100 years old and smoked way too many cigars. I'm sure genetics played a huge role in that, but regardless of genetics, we are blessed with this body that we have. We should probably take best care of it we possibly can. And if we're going to be trapped inside of the bodies that we have, we might as well increase the range of motion we have, increase our lung capacity, take good care of ourselves, right? 
Anyways, back to the stretches. I like to do a variation of this prayer stretch, which is kind of like a more dynamic rolling around. It's not necessarily a prayer so much as is keeping your wrists together and rotating them around each other like this. Just like that. And I like this because it's nice and light impact and it helps you explore the range of motions on your wrists. And as you go through this, if you experience any pain, please stop doing this. It shouldn't cause you any pain if you are in decent enough condition. However, I don't know anything about your personal situation with your wrists or your relationship with your body, whether or not you're physically able to do this. So any of these stretches, if they cause you any pain, listen to your body. Don't listen to me. Listen to your body and refrain from doing any stretches that are hurting you. And once again, check with your doctor. But I like this one because it's low impact for me and for most people, it seems. And you just kind of move around and it gives you a nice little stretch of the wrists and kind of tests the limits of your mobility as you move around. You can go change direction too, and that's always a good idea. I like to change directions and kind of explore the stretch, ease into the stretch. Don't ever go to the point where you're experiencing discomfort or you're hurting yourself. I think you're going too far when you're doing a stretch. You wanna go just to the point where you're getting a nice, healthy stretch a little bit further than what your normal range of motion is, and that should do just fine. Especially if you do it on a regular basis, you'll find that you'll expand your range of motion and increase your flexibility. Another one I like doing is grabbing my forefingers like this and pushing my thumb behind the uh, wrist of the hand that's going to be stretched and pushing down and forward like this. This one feels really good. And you relax those shoulders again, move them around. It doesn't hurt to move around a little bit. But pushing down like this and pushing forward uh, gets a really good stretch in the forearm and it feels good on the fingers as well. And do both sides. Whatever you do one side, it's good to do the other side. And just take your time to really enjoy the stretch and to appreciate what it's doing for your body and knowing that while you're doing that, you still have plenty of time to think about other things and plan your day or tend to other activities in your mind and you can still be doing something constructive for your body at the same time. I know it sounds ridiculous to put it like that, but all these things and all these little habits that we form throughout our life really add up. And if you take advantage of cultivating good habits earlier on in your life, you'll find that you'll thank yourself later on in life when you have the benefits from those good habits. And the same can be said about those bad habits too. If you rack up enough of those bad habits, they really kind of compound over time and you'll feel it when you get older. All right, folks, that's enough of the stretches I'm gonna share with you here today, as well as a little pep talk about habits, which you didn't ask for, but I thought I'd share that little snippet with you as well. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you're new to my channel, please know that I post about a wide variety of subjects. I don't know what brought you to this video here today, but thank you very much for watching once again. I post every single day for the year of 2021, and I've done us all a favor, you a favor, myself a favor, and I've organized all of my content into different playlists here on my channel, so you can find something that may pique your interest a lot easier. Also keep in mind that I post weekly circus and flow arts tutorials, where I teach you how to teach yourself the art of contact juggling, or even regular juggling, or juggling clubs, or spinning things in your finger, just like that. They call that pediddling, and you can do it with pretty much anything nice and flat. I like using couch cushions because if you mess up, that doesn't really hurt you ever. That's cool. Or you can even learn how to do the devil sticks. The devil sticks and I go way back. I've been doing them ever since I was about 14 years old. Technically 12, but I really started getting good at the age of 14. And I like to share this skill with other people. I like to teach people how to teach themselves, I like to say, how to do these various circus and flow art skills because they've enriched my life tremendously. And I like to share these skills with anyone out there who's willing to listen. And that's a wrap. Thank you once more, and I'll leave you with these words. Please remember to never give up. Do your best, stay true to you, and be amazing. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, my friends, good night.